video, we'll cover how to use Ava. We'll provide an intro to the tool, look at how to make lists, cut sheets, how to sync your board list and sheets, how to use presentation mode, and lots more. Let's get started. So let's take a look at Ava. All right, so here we have a you know pretty finished mood board. You can imagine this stage of your process. You've spent hours uh, gathering all the right things of your design. And the idea is really that you wanna keep your head in that space where you're you know, just free flow, creative, you know, focused on the furniture and the finishes and the colors and bringing that design to life. The great thing about Ava is that when you are done and along the way, at any point, you can hit this list button down at the bottom and board has automatically, automatically created a cut sheet in the background that's keeping track of all of your selections. So here you see each item listed and it even remembers their web link if you've assigned one. Um, it has notes attached to each item and the title. If there's something that you might not want to show, you can always turn it off. Maybe that um, piece was part of the design but something the client already had, right? So you can control what they're seeing and not seeing. Um, you can also hide the URLs or hide the notes. So maybe you want to send your client a list of what they're going to be buying, but you don't necessarily want to show them where to get it, right? So that's an important feature so that you kind of stay in control of the project. Um, in cut sheets, you can also edit the notes. So here we have, it says quantity one. Actually, we're going to do quantity two. So these are the kind of notes that you might put in so that when you're, you know, as your project moves sort of from a design to execution, you can keep track of all of these things. They're easy to export. Hit this export button and you can go straight to Excel. That way you can open it up on your, um, you know, laptop or, or stay in your iPad, but you're moving straight into an actual spreadsheet that keeps the images and is ready to take to the next level. you could also switch over to cut sheets. So another way that designers often correspond with uh, contractors or clients is by creating these kind of visual sheets of the entire project. If we zoom into them, you can see um, each item has its own sheet. Um, again, you have the functionality that you can hide the notes, edit the notes, hide the URLs, whatever works for you, you know, in your firm. Right? Um, these you can also export. So save it as a PDF, you automatically have that book to take with you, you know, on the job, wherever you wanna go, email to a client. It's just another way of visualizing and understanding what actually it's gonna to take to get that board built. Another interesting thing about board that we really love is how these lists help you keep track of where you're getting things. So if you pull in images from your library, your camera, your cloud drives, whatever, let's focus on pulling images from the web. When they show up on your board, they are also going to show up in your list. So let's say we're adding a little something to this board. We're going to clip it from the web. We're gonna make it a little smaller. Get rid of that background. And then we have this, you know, beautiful little piece. And immediately you see that that item is added to your list and added to your cut sheets. So when you uh, go when you go to see that item, sorry, um, there it is. Uh, this is trying to make me write, <laughs> write notes. Um, it keeps that uh, web link right there for you, which is amazing because you all know what it's like. You're sourcing all day and at the end of the day, you gotta be able to find these things again. So super pro feature in board. 
for all of you trying to make it happen. Also, just one word of warning, what's cool when I talked about how you can kind of turn things off and on, you can also um, reorder them. So maybe at the point that you're working on your spreadsheet, you wanna say like, in the list of priorities, you know, this poof actually comes behind this sofa, right? And that's a great way to organize the information for your client. However, word of warning, it will also reorder the, um, the order on your board. So right now that sofa is in front of this little poof, which is not a huge deal, but it could cause you problems if you're not careful. So the beauty of it is that all three things are linked. So whatever you do in your board happens in your cut sheets and list, but just make sure to remember that whatever happens in your cut sheets will also happen back to your board. So be careful with that. We all know what it's like you sit down with a client, you're kind of here, you know, showing your board, right? Presentation mode is great because you can show the board, they can see everything, but they don't see the interface. And also you don't screw it up. So if you touch something, it doesn't light up or try to edit or whatever. So it allows you to really like show your board, we call it sort of like magazine mode, um, while you're talking your clients through it. And then if they wanna dive in on the details, you can still do that. So you can go to your list or your cut sheets and walk them through exactly what all of these things are without them seeing you know, the background and sort of the tools it took you to get there. I do wanna also give you one word of warning. So this is, this is presentation mode and you get to that by pressing this button here. So here we're out of presentation mode. Here we're in presentation mode. That's Ava. Thanks for watching and be sure to check out our other how-to videos.